Hello, hello dear Scorpio, welcome to Divine Day Boo, this is Kathy speaking. Thank you for joining me here for your June general and love reading, June of 2022. Scorpio, we've just had an eclipse, a full moon in your sign mid-May, so what are you purging, what are you shedding? It is karmic, whatever it is, that is leaving your life, something that you are completing is no longer necessary for you. Um, June is when Mercury, the beginning of June, comes out of retrograde. So it's like we're um, powering up for new cycles. Saturn, uh, which is sort of challenging you from Aquarius, is going to turn retrograde as well in the beginning of June. So that's a bit of a leeway and sort of, you know, uh, a stopping of those limitations so there's a window there's windows of opportunities okay where you've been limited uh for new things new cycles now you are also ruled by mars not only pluto pluto is retrograde in capricorn um which is giving you a chance to look at your life and what you're hoping to either let go or rebuild Right, and Mars has just entered uh, entered Aries uh, at the beginning of the month, so um, that is sort of giving you a lot of power because Mars is also your ruling planet, dear uh, Scorpio. All right, so for the month of June, dear Spirit, what's going on in life and in love, generally speaking, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and North Node? In Scorpio, if you are familiar with your natal chart, your birth chart, where is your north node facing? That is the sign you need to uh, go and watch for your fate, right? Venus is love and money. Mars is desires, passion, uh, drive, will. Okay, and I will be extending this reading to Scorpio. So I know you've been through a lot and you're going through a lot of fundamental changes. Run with them. Whatever is leaving you is not meant to be. Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So it does speak to creation, creative energies, as well as emotions, right? Queen of Cups is very sacrificing, loving, nurturing, very motherly as well. What's above your head? There's regrets, Five of Cups. There are regrets to do with the past. It is a past connection with Mercury retrograding in Taurus and in Gemini. It's retrograding in Taurus, but it's retrograding on the same degrees that that lunar eclipse took place for you. So, and it's on Algol, which is the head of Medusa, the poison, the snakes, the the, the dark thoughts, uh, leaderships, uh, wisdom, of course, uh, lots of changes, losing power, um, someone losing their power. Okay, so Six of Cups is a soulmate connection. It can relate to childlike energies and nostalgia to do with the past. We've got five and six. So it's like there's a revisiting energy with the Knight of Wands, which the Knight of Wands is usually Sag, Sagittarian energy. It's all about drive and expansion and growth and uh, wanting to go on an adventure. And it looks like you're revisiting maybe an old relationship where there were regrets. There was a breakup to do with the past. But the Two of Cups is still there. There's an offer on the table. <clears throat> so I don't know if this is someone from your past. We've got uh, childlike energies here and here. We've got the Queen of Cups. So, <coughs> excuse me. Something has matured maybe. There's the Death card. There you are. So changes to do with uh, matters of love, shedding any regrets to do with the past. It's a time of action and collaboration right now. And the change is going to bring a wish fulfillment. By shedding any um, hurt feelings or tainted thoughts pertaining to the past and emotions, by letting these go, you open up new doors here. Nine of Cups, Three of Cups, Reconciliation, dear Scorpio. Wow. And the Seven of Wands. Keep going. Keep fighting for this. 
the ability is here to manifest. Seven of Wands is it's saying that it's it's in your hands, even though it may be a little bit sort of others may be against this. There could be also be com competitive energies. We've got a couple of threes here. We've got the three of cups that are spilt. Maybe someone is denying you a, a second chance, but this is it. You've got the upper hand here. Your wish is at your fingertips. A reconciliation. And if there's been third parties in the way, they're leaving the scene. They're leaving the scene. Threes are always about expansion and growth. It can speak to other people, of course, but it's, it's I mean, Three of Pentacles is a, a point of success. I don't know if you collaborate or work with this person. You're in a small group together. It's the Gemini energy, the Three of Cups, Threes, right? Third house, Gemini, which Mercury rules and is in retrograde. So you're revisiting things to do with the past. It could be bringing things up also pertaining to quite a few years back let's see what's at the bottom we've got the two of wands which is like a door opening let's see you've got choices you've got choices the world is in your hands right as long as you desire this you can manifest it we see that the wands are there um, they're sprouting I mean there's growth there as long as you use that fiery energy that as long as you have the courage to move forward I mean it's uh, your ruling planet Mars and Jupiter, they're both in Aries. So it's all about new new cycles, having the courage, being the warrior, letting those open wounds to do with the past, self-worth matters, go. And uh, taking a chance, going on that adventure. The potentials are many here. Let's look at your Karma Dharma Scorpio. The sun, the sun is heart. The sun is clarity, the sun is warmth, it's healing, it's ego, it's identity, it's reconciliation, it's love, it's romance, it's creation and risk-taking, being childlike, it's the fun house. Leo house is fun and Leo squares you. So you are going, you are being challenged, left, right and center, to make the changes that are necessary for you. Your dharma this month is happiness with the sun. Let's see what's going on in the area of love. Love and romance. For Scorpio in the month of June, dear spirit. Scorpio in the month of June. Find balance, two of pentacles. Another two, spread your wings. You've got the two of wands there and you've got it here as well. Another two, listen. With the uh, high priestess, listen to your intuition. Now she uh, is the moon, new moon goddess. We're having a new moon on the uh, in Gemini. So Gemini is all about decisions. It's the time to listen. Don't only go with what your head is telling you. Go with what your heart is telling you. And obviously heart is connected to the heart chakra is connected to the third eye chakra, your intuition. So pay attention. Those need to feel uh, in sync, right? Two, two, two. Two, two, two. reoccurring numbers twos are together and separate uh, polarity and togetherness the high priestess pisces virgo energy let's take one more on that listen and move seven the chariot 
cancer and third eye chakra and a six two 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 equals six and we've got a seven here so that's like six and seven let's say six and seven 13 Scorpio what is it that you need to let go of so that you could find your balance and harmony it's a time for you to spread your wings make make your choice what's beneath the two of wands we've got the moon there's fears here I see that there is fear a fear of change a fear of um, choice it's as though you're not wanting to take a risk but spirit is telling you get unstuck it's time to move you're in the driver's seat. It's up to you. Cancer is the moon. We've got Cancer Pisces here. We've got the chariot, which is a card of success and movement. You've made your choice here and you're moving towards victory. The moon. Beneath the moon is the Queen of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Third eye chakra. Opportunity beckons. Four of cups. So missed offers are coming back. Um, the opportuni opportunities are there for you. What are you going to do about it is the question. Are you going to make your choice? Because I see you're having difficulty in making choices. Either that or it's the other person that's wanting to make a choice on you. In the very important position here of the nine of cups it's got to do with the past and moving towards the future which i like to see the nine of cups here we've got the nine of cups the five of cups the six of cups the queen of cups the three of cups so many emotions now, Queen of Pentacles there is, as I said, someone that's very stable. Someone maybe that wants something long-term as well. Um, Queen of Pentacles could be an Earth sign. We do have Three of Pentacles here. Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. Interesting. Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups usually Scorpio. This could be your energy. For some of you out there, this could be a same-sex relationship, possibly. What do we need to know for Scorpio? Scorpio in the month of June. Now, you could be connected with someone that's already a mother as well. You could be someone's second choice. Neptune. Your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusion. Hmm. Yes, obviously, Neptune. Neptune is in Pisces, so he is trining you. He's helping you see the truth. He's helping bring in the magic for you. You've been fantasizing about something. It's not a time of fantasy now, it's a time of action. Let's take one more. Neptune can be deception. It can also, uh, I mean, we've got, we've got the High Priestess here, which is Neptune and Pisces as well as uh, Virgo. So it's about getting grounded. Let's see. The first house. So it's all about you. Uh, the first house is your personal life. It can speak to all areas of life, but it's your identity and it's who you are the impression you give to people so what impression i don't know you've maybe you've given the impression that you're confused and that you're someone that's very loving very giving but also neptune can also be it's pisces sacrifice sacrificing too much um un giving giving uh, unconditionally uh, a lot of love a lot of a lot of sacrifice but yeah there's so much confusion with neptune so you're longing for people to see you as how as strong 
as able to make decisions and move forward, overcome obstacles. Or, or you're putting on a, um, you're wearing a mask, you're not showing your true emotions. That could be the case that you've got a yearning and the yearning is a lot of love in your heart, but you're worried about what people think here. You don't want to show weakness. This is Leo. And Leo is a, a confidence. It's it's um, in, um, it's the ability to create through risk taking. Um, it's generosity. Some of you are fearing, speaking truthfully from your heart. I feel that this is the case. Or you're dealing with someone that is doing that to you. The first house and Neptune. Hmm. Illusions, misconceptions. Let's see what the, uh, let's see what the oracle, the wisdom of the oracle has for Scorpio. You know, the uh, High Priestess can speak to a spiritual connection as well. And a lot of things that are unknown possibly can speak to a new beginning, as long as decisions and confidence and action. So, uh, you know, are made or are taken. The move, it says move. Do not get stuck in just your, your um, illusion or... Just trying to figure things out. Uh, trust your intuition and make the moves that are necessary. Scorpio. Can also speak to a hidden connection with the high priestess here as well. Time for a nap. Oh, nap and Neptune is like, you've been dreaming about this person. You've been dreaming about this. It's time to snap out of it. Let's see. It's not time for a nap. It came through in the reverse, even though I'm not reading reversals. Let's see. Let's read the message. 24. Rest, re rejuvenation and renewal. Temporary non-action allowing dreams to arise. This is a time to step away and, and rest. Let the cares of your world go. Go into a state of non-action and allow yourself to be free of the shackles of your goals, your lists, your desires. Nothing is as important as rest, detachment and neutral neutrality. Neutrally. Neutrality, I'm sorry. The overly busy mind can block you from inner wisdom if you don't step back, take a seat and rest. Be willing to let dreams surface and ideas flow through you. Absent from force, absent any force or conscious direction as you observe without engagement now. So maybe, you know, that's when you're quieting yourself down. Take a little bit of time, quieten yourself down and see what your intuition is telling you. Where relationships are concerned... When it comes to matters of the heart, don't make any plans right now. If you're not partnered, it's a good time to take this time, time out to get to know yourself. If you're involved with someone, relax and just be with your partner. This is going to be an uneventful moment in time. Don't force anything now. Allow things to flow naturally and a beautiful renewal will take place by itself. Patience is the key to your heart's desire right now. Withdraw from action in your relationship and give it a rest so that your love and connection can become rejuvenated. Now, where prosperity is concerned, this is a great time to take a break from your busy schedule and allow yourself the opportunity to step back. Your plans are meant to be put on ice. Your goals can wait. Dream, imagine and let go of attachment so any outcome to any outcome now. Meditate and take a holiday if you can. Things will speed up soon enough. 
After a break, you may want to make some changes. Epiphanies have an amazing way of arising when you take your focus off your to-do list and allow yourself to rest. So maybe that's what the message is. You will know if this is your message. If you feel that it resonates for you, some of you maybe just need to take time out, take a break, have a rest. You could see that it says that busy will come and you've got the seven of wands as the outcome. So go get out, meet up with your friends, your, your family, whoever you need to. Take some time, do things for you. You have maybe need to catch up, catch your breath since you've been going through a transformation such as this. Take your time to make your decision. Do not rush. Rushing can be dangerous and just let it go. Free fall, relax, surrender. Let's see for Scorpio, dear spirit. And then you will know. We've got the uh, fox. The house. And the ring. And the stars. I like it. I like it. And the book, there's the Neptune energy again. And the Divine Feminine is here. So matters that are unknown or maybe things that you've dreamed of. Maybe there is illusion, difficulty in making decisions right now. The Fox says that there is intelligence. There could also be some sort of lack of understanding. Take time out. Remember that we had, I mean, we did see the moon, right? So... The moon can speak to illusion or fears or just, you know, things coming up from your subconscious. You will be enlightened. You will have that intelligence pertaining to something stable here. I mean, the house can speak to securities as well, not only a long-term um, marriage or relationship. We've got the ring. So there is like a contract that comes in. There is, and you could be revisiting a situation where maybe a wish fulfillment was at a distance or securing something was at a distance maybe now this cycle is ending this like the ring can speak to a contract can speak to business as well but the stars are aligning here for you and this is your possibility to progress towards your goals and it is all about you neptune can really do the magic for you and the sun is a lot of happiness so let's take a few more tarot cards and we're going to see how we go with time We'll see how we go with time. So let's have a look at the Five of Cups. What are you crying over? What do you have regrets about? The Queen of Pentacles. I did say it was an earth sign or someone that's just very stable or someone that's very patient. Queen of Pentacles. Mother, nurturing, loving. Next position we've got the king of pentacles whether we put it here or we put it here it's the same thing my dear friends for me this is a power couple right wow i feel that this is you this is you maybe maybe the your partner the person that you wanted to partner up with romantically or otherwise was not ready now they are ready let's look at the death card And we've got the High Priestess. There was a third party here. For some of you, the High Priestess could be either a spiritual connection or a third party is ending, is going away. I feel that the Queen of Cups uh, more than likely is the energy. Um, yes, we could be talking about a water sign. Now, both Queen of Cups and the High Priestess are the same person. So if this was someone that was in the shadows... Someone that you were not speaking to your friends about because you may have been in another relationship or they were, whatever the, the, the case is. It speaks to strong intuition here. I want to see what this Seven of Wands is all about. Oh my God. <laughs> Libra had the same card at the same position. So you could be on the cusp with Libra. Check it out. Okay, we've got strong cancer, we've got Pisces, we've got um, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, lots of Earth here, Sagittarius, 
All right, lots of Piscean energy. We've got some Aquarius here as well. Um, Leo is also here, my dear friends. Okay, so I'll be taking more messages, obviously. Let's see what's at the bottom. On the extended, we've got the lovers. So Gemini, it's the making, needing to make a decision time. Eight of Swords, feeling blocked and bound and fearing fearing your freedom a freedom to move towards the relationship the partnership uh this divine union there is the emperor so the emperor is just heavy it really is heavy the emperor obviously could be another person could be also um, someone who's trying to hold on to the control someone feeling as though they've got obligations or that there's just like a sense of heaviness there it is you see, so I don't know who this emperor is. The emperor and the king of pentacles many times um, is the same person. Queen of pentacles and empress are very similar as well. So the empress is somewhere, <laughs> somewhere here. If we look further back, we'll find her for sure. But there's a sense of heaviness, too much responsibility, too much feeling limited and bound. Is it your thoughts? Is it... Um, feeling as though you don't have control over a situation or obligations or something not being stable let's go further back page of swords knight of pentacles there's the devil energy the boundaries the fears i do apologize my camera stopped recording and uh we do see the stars here, that the stars are aligning and it's your progression towards your goals. The star could also speak to a wish fulfillment, obviously. Obviously here. Okay, in the extended, we'll be taking the fortune-telling uh, deck. We'll be taking mystic, mystic Moon Oracles. And we'll be taking a message from Spirit, Spirit, the Spirit of the Animals, as well as the handwritten love cards. So... Let's go on to the extended. Thank you so much, dear Scorpio, for, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I am really happy about this card here. Number seven, move the chariot. It speaks to transitioning, okay? Making that making that decision and being you're being put in a position of power. It's time to move towards a reconciliation, a, an agreement here. As I said, someone could be falling out of the uh, equation. All right, but I do see a power couple here, and there's a it's a very strong intuitive connection, a very powerful union. All right, love and light, thank you so much, love you so much, good luck, talk to you soon.